Now the car's just come back from its last track day. You can see all the squished up bugs on the front bumper. But that's not why we're here today. I want to talk to, to you about what I've done with the oil cooler. Um, at the last track event, it was a pretty hot day and the car was struggling to keep itself cool. I've got a fairly sizable Super Miata radiator here, the Crossflow radiator. Um, and right in front of it is a big fat intercooler which lives in this opening here. It's a fairly well ducted intake. I have got some small block offs on the sides which does reduce the size of that intake. But I used to also have the oil cooler mounted in front of the radiator just in here. I moved it to below where the driver's side headlight lives now. So it now mounts off these alloy bars. You can see one of the lines heads up off that way. And it's ducted in to where the OE fog light would live in this hole here. However, instead of there being a fog light, it's a ducted hole straight to the oil cooler. The ducting is attached to the bumper itself. So if the bumper comes away, you can see part of the top of the ducting there. If the bumper comes away, the duct comes with it and it seals up against the oil cooler with some rubber seals. So it's all pretty safe and sound. I'm hoping this will improve the cooling of the oil and it also reduce the, uh, I guess, the layering of oil versus water temps because they're not stacked on top of each other. We've got more airflow going to the oil cooler itself and less of the heat of the oil cooler is going to affect the coolant. So it'll kind of distribute the pain a little bit better. Proof is in the pudding. We'll see how it performs next time the car goes out on track. And with the bumper off, you get a better idea of how the cooler lives or where the cooler lives in relation to the front wheel. And the duct itself, you can see here in all its glory, just use some traditional CAD design to come up with some sort of rectangular-ish shapes. So it goes from a small duct down there, which is, a, this piece is a 3D printed kind of adapter. The, uh, the bumper is all being trimmed out to make the hole kind of as big as is reasonable without changing the shape of the, uh, the, boy, the front bumper too much. And then you can see it flares out to this, the full size of the oil cooler itself. And as I mentioned, some rubber strip across the, uh, the edges to seal it to the cooler. 